Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix fatal error with the game on your Windows computer. So the first step is to try DirectX 11 or DX12 in the launch option. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option. You can type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working. Make a right click once again and then go to properties. And this time you can type in dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game and then select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see the game exe file make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work you can open this folder binaries win64 and then you can make a double click over here and then launch the game still not working you can make a right click go to properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working again go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can select windows 7 this time over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working Put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can when you put a check on all these boxes if not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files you can make a right click on the game select properties go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps, and this time open this folder, binaries, win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse. And then again, go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game 
Now AMD card users go to AMD website. First of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer, go to AMD website, select the latest graphic card driver, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in the middle search box, click on graphic settings, click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, click on the game select over here high performance you will see your graphic card now again click on add desktop app open this folder binaries min64 select this exe file now click on ok now scroll down and find the game exe file in the list now once you find the game click on the game and over here GPU preference set it to high performance you will see your graphic card now you can launch the game and then check still not working install visual C++ file this is important so open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio files you scroll down and then click on download this x86 and x64 install both the files so click on it you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option hit install just ignore this error message in my case it is already installed download this x64 file as well run this exe file now if you see repair click on repair if you see install button hit install click on yes to allow and then install it just ignore the error message in my case and then restart is a must after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename or delete the save game files but create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so to rename the save game files you can go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top you can view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder over here you can see qz sim folder so you can just make a right click on QZ sim folder and then you can rename it as whatever you want dot old and once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check but before that before you rename it uh, make sure I forgot uh, so do not delete it just rename it so you can just create a backup copy this folder create a backup paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this the game will start from scratch now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or upgrade in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices from your computer if you have any kind of USB adapter so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of USB adapter connected disconnected disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running you can close it now disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and go to the general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if you have any other overlay application like discord running you can close you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running turn off overlay in nvidia app settings if you have any overclocking application you can just first of all set overclocking to default so set it to default and then Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, any kind of overclocking application, close it. Also, if you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to Advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size 
and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. When you update the system BIOS, after the BIOS update, you log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to, now next step is to skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode, lower down video settings. So if the graphic setting is set to high or ultra, you can set it to medium or low quality and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to any other drive like D drive or external drive like E drive, F drive. So try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. Try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.